Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have some pouches to open. Two separate pouches. One from Lefty EDC, one of my best friends. Kevin is awesome. If you're not following Kevin or subscribe to his channel, you should. Lefty EDC, awesome. Um, these are some scales, Tarot Tough scales for my Demco 8020.5. Now, after I got these scales from Kevin, I think he got two sets. He got these Tarot Tough ones and he got some like fat carbon ones that he ended up liking better. He kept those and he sold me these for pretty cheap, which I appreciate. Um, then he also mentioned that Carbidize, the company who makes these scales, also made some backspacers um, or was capable of making some backspacers. So I messaged that guy and I said, hey, I want a backspacer because I've got some scales coming. And he was like, sweet, these are the materials I have. What do you want? Um, so we're gonna unbox it real quick and I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. These are blue Tarot Tough scales. I'm not positive, honestly, what kind of shade of blue they are. We shall see. Um, <clears throat> so that's gonna be interesting. Oh, that's hilarious. I was like, what is so big in here? I forgot that Kev told me he was also gonna send me a battery charger. <laughs> so, so I've got a left EDC sticker. Go right next to this other one on my desk from the last package he sent me. Yeah, so this is a, a battery charger that apparently Kev just had an extra one of lying around. And uh, so he sent it to me with these. All right, then we have the scales. Pretty slick. I like that. Kind of a nice even tone of blue, like sky blue maybe. Um, feels like there's another, yep, there's another sticker in here. I got Detent one. I have this on a t-shirt and I love it. Every time I wear this shirt, it's probably my no most like noticed knife shirt that I wear. Like right now I'm wearing a Holt Blade Works shirt. No one ever, when I wear this shirt, is like, what's Holt Blade Works? But when I wear the Got Detent one, people, Got the Dent? Got Detent? What is, what's Detent? Like people don't know what it is. And then I have to explain like, oh, it's what holds a knife closed and allows it to pop open you know like <laughs> it starts some interesting conversations especially when it's random strangers who would have no reason to believe that i'm a weirdo who's as into knives as i am um anyway so here's the tarot tough scales they're nice and slim um they look pretty slick i already know that i like tarot tough as a material i've had tarot tough spider co scales before that i really really enjoyed um so these are pretty rad he had at Carbidize a number of different materials for me to pick from for the backspacer. And at first I was just gonna probably like match these scales. I thought that would be cool. But then I was like, wouldn't it be fun if I did something that was like just a little bit more of a pop of color? Because I'm having fun with this knife anyways. If it's too much, I can always just use the gray like FRN backspacer that's already in here. But figured why not have fun with it. So I ordered one in orange G10. So basically, we put this next to the scale so we can see what this is gonna look like. And I'm gonna switch to a, like a tabletop view here in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and put this sucker together. But this is basically, uh, it's not exactly easy to line it up without the knife going together, but it's gonna look like that, <laughs> color scheme wise, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, I've been on this kick lately of like the the golf racing livery, which is technically like a powder blue. Golf blue is the technical name that most automotive companies would use for it, like Porsche, but golf blue and then like a bright orange and then it's got some white on it. I had talked about long, long time ago when I was thinking about having, um, when I was planning on getting an Oz Roosevelt book spot and at the time they were still super open-ended, like custom, you can do whatever you want. I was like, I wonder if I could have them do a golf livery, like colorway on my Roosevelt. By the time I got my Roosevelt, it wasn't an option to do anything <laughs> nearly like that. But um, I've been thinking about having a knife modified to have that color scheme or something, and I probably will soon. But in the meantime, this is going to kind of scratch that itch a little bit because it, it's not quite a powder blue, but this is kind of a, a golf reminiscent color scheme. So anyway, let's go ahead and swap to a tabletop view, kind of a top down view where I can go ahead and get this put together real quick and we can take a look at it from there. So switcheroo. All right, so this is gonna be like the most ghetto 
tabletop thing you've ever seen because my desk is such a mess and my wife is doing a craft project out there so I am on the chair that I was just sitting on and we've set it up here for right now but I want to get these on so I can feel this thing out so I think I just need T6 and T10 based on what I can see here so I'm gonna go ahead and just start breaking this sucker down and start by taking off the clip there's one this tray, by the way, is made by Asphalt Trays. Um, I now have two of these suckers. They're really cool trays. And uh, the guy behind it is a super nice dude. I like that guy. So, pretty cool stuff. All right, so that's the two screws that go on this side. So I think I've got a couple more over here. You can see there was a little bit of blue Loctite on one of those screws doesn't want to come out there we go so that's a shorter guy all right so I need to remember those longer ones are for the clip I'll keep them in that separate kind of bin spot there yeah, these are much shorter tiny little guys are for the handle scales bada bing bada boom bit of blue loctite no biggie everything was simple there now go ahead and remove the pivot screw that won't be easy to recognize well that's easy I'm actually thinking now that I'm here in the moment I wonder if I can do this without completely disassembling it. Looks like I need these tubes so that I can get them into the other backspacer. All right, let me see if I can jimmy rig this because I'd rather not pull the knife completely apart if I don't have to. There's other disassembly videos out there. This is just a scale swap and uh, I'd rather not pull my knife 100% apart if I don't have to. So there's that. One. So it's going to go on there just like that. Let's see if I take just this liner off. This is not, uh, not going so perfect, is it? Oh, yeah, the spring's coming up. All right, we're taking it apart at this point. <laughs> That's happening. There's a stop pin. Okay. It's pretty cool to see how this uh, shark lock works. Maybe that slides back and forth on there. I guess I might as well show that real quick. So the stop pin sets and uh, goes into that hole. I don't know if you can see that. It's right here. Um, and then that keeps that spring pressure going so that just slides back and forth like so. Super simple, ingenious design in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and get this part of the way back together. these guys there great yeah that makes sense this is what those screws are threading into okay so those are popped right there let's see that's cool it's got the patent number on there and everything let's see if I can get this pin back in here oh, 
that spring is wanting to shoot out. There we go. Pack that spring back in, simple enough. And then let's see if I can just plop that on there start holding everything together by tightening that down. Is that a keyed pivot? It is, but this doesn't look like it is. So apparently it's keyed on the other side. Oh, you know what's crazy? I need the liner. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, that's keyed. There we go. it's lining up there we go okay now this can go on sweet okay so that is where it needs to be start holding it in with some screws it feels like it's just free spinning I'm also realizing that this whole pivot assembly is probably going to need to come out. Okay, <laughs> let's just break it on down. Okay, there's that. There's that. Liner, not going to need that anymore. Just pull the blade off of here. Here. Yeah, this thing's gonna have to all come apart because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get this scale off without pulling that pivot out and then to try to do that would be quite the balancing act. Let's get this, this scale. I'm just gonna start putting that together. That. Take that. That's nice that the pivot is keyed on both sides. See, it's D shaped here too. It's a nice touch. So we've got that there. Go ahead and plop that on there. Get this shark lock settled in. That's backwards. Oops. Stop pin. go that's held in place plop this down on here start setting these tubes in okay there there and there now we get the other liner tossed onto here sweet that's lined up That's nice and easy. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this pivot screw in. Just get it started by hand. And take the T10. Get that in there. It's not super tight now, but it's holding that in place. So I can go ahead and start with these probably going to want to free spin. I imagine I'll need to use a uh, T6 on the other side as well. But I can get it started at least so that it's holding. Yeah, that's just wanting to free spin. All right. So now let me get another Torx here so it's more in view for you and pardon me for one second let's grab that tell me you're a t6 you are great all right so let's go here 
because this one's not a clip screw. And so that side went in, which should mean that this side should now be able to tighten. And it does, but it's still spinning. Now we're tight there. Oop, gonna need that. Get rid of this one. Okay, so that's ready. Which means now I need to get the clips started. Because these are gonna be the remaining two screws. That there. That there. I like to just line things up like so. See what kind of luck we have. Oh, it's actually tightening down. Nice, okay. One doesn't feel like it is. A little bit. Alright, so now take this guy and this guy. Tighten both of those. Great. Do that same thing here. One on this side, one on this side. Boom. See how our pivot is. It's kind of crazy. That actually feels pretty good. Well, this feels way better in hand without all that crazy texture on it. Not that it's crazy, but this is smoother. It feels nice. I like that. Okay. It's actually, I don't have any side to side or front to back. So I'm just going to leave that because I'm also pretty well centered. Okay, cool. It's together. I guess it's a hair off center, but not enough to bother me. It's my own knife. That backspacer does look sweet in there. I'm glad that I did that. Let me go ahead and switch back to forward facing. I'll show it off a little bit more, and that way I won't be kneeling on the ground like a weirdo. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I'm like sweating because I was just kneeling doing that whole thing. Um, anyway, this turned out pretty freaking sweet. Um, I really like this a lot more now than I did before. And I already loved this knife before. Um, yeah, this is cool. This looks really good. I like the color. I like the combo with the orange. I'm glad that I did that and didn't just match the scale color. I feel like that's a fun little pop back there. Um, it feels better in hand. It somehow feels a hair slimmer and I don't know why. I don't think that it's actually slimmer in terms of like the scale material. It's totally not. I'm looking at it side by side. I think it's more so just the fact that it doesn't have this texture on it. Um, and the texture is not terrible. Like this texture didn't really bother me. In fact, on the G10 full size 8020 that I have, I kind of dig the texture. I'd hesitate to get rid of it. Um, but on this little guy now feeling it without that texture, yeah, this feels really, really good. Um, action is exactly what it should be. I don't have side to side. I don't have front to back. So I'm happy with this. It turned out sweet. I'm feeling now like I could probably put a fresh edge on this too. I've been using it a little bit around the house. Um, yeah, this feels really, really nice. <laughs> I like it. So um, these scales are from Carbidize and the Backspacer. So I'll link to him down below, his Instagram at least. I think if he has a site too, I'll link that as well. But um, these are the first of his products that I've tried and they feel great. They're really, really nice. I think it's, a, it's breathed a little bit of new life into this knife for me. I've seen quite a people quite a few people using his products lately, specifically on the AD 20.5. Um, he does a lot of really rad materials, fat carbons and stuff. This is more basic compared to a lot of the things that I've seen him do, but uh, I like it and it feels good. I like Terra Tough as a material. It's a cool, cool material. So anyway, I guess that'll be that. It is put together. It's a little bit of a golf inspired color way and that makes me happy. And uh, I think it looks sweet. Plus, this is already just a cool knife to begin with. So the fact that it got even better is awesome. Thanks. All right. I'll link Kevin, Lefty EDC, down below as well, in case you're not familiar with his channel, because I did get these from him. And he's one of my best friends. So happy to shout him out. All right. See you guys on the next one.